Dirt Everyday Extras go live every weekday on Motor Trend On Demand. Here's an example of an episode you missed last week. This Dirt Everyday Extra, we are back in Albuquerque with Mark Terrian. Mark is a friend of ours who we will invade his shop in an upcoming episode of Dirt Every Day and kind of reduce all productivity to about zero. But the cool thing about Mark is that he builds cool projects. Um, he has a few he's working on for some friends of his, and he also has a few that he's working on for himself. And this one is for your... This one is for my wife, believe it or not. So this started out as a Jeep CJ-10 airplane hey. tug. It's a CJ-10A. And I actually, 15 years ago, had one of these. And there's another Dirt Everyday Extra where we actually talk about the one that I used to have. But I'm really excited to look at this one because Mark has all the parts in it that I got rid of in mine and I probably shouldn't have. <laughs> Namely, what's underneath the hood? Uh, it's a Nissan 3.3 liter. It was a naturally aspirated diesel. It's now a turbo diesel. So, believe it or not, out there is a CJ-10A airplane tug. It's a military vehicle used to pull airplanes around. It's a little Jeep CJ-7 style pickup truck cab with a diesel engine under the hood. And if you can find one, you can build it into something really cool like what Mark's built here. Very much so. So what so, have all of you done to it? The only thing left uh, CJ-10A is the cab and engine and tranny. Okay. Um, cool. The rest of it is completely, uh, it's a bastard child of every other buddy, everybody else's parts. Um, is, is it a 727 transmission? It's this Torque Flight 727. Cool. Um, it's a YJ frame that, that's been stretched 11 and a half inches, uh, JK 44s. <laughs> So everybody is building, they all want a Jeep truck, yes. and they're, there's ways to get them, but there it's are. super expensive, right? Very much so, yeah. So this was a way for you to get a Jeep truck on a budget? Correct. The, yeah, they, the roof is all steel on this thing, right? Correct. The and whole the, body is steel, including the roof. This bulkhead is normal, it's not like some fiberglass reproduction or you something. You also notice, open that door, Dave. Uh -huh. you notice how the top corner of the door is very square. Yeah, on a CJ7 hardtop, that's a rounded, rounded corner. So it looks more like a like a YJ already, right? Aren't uh, the YJ squared it's off there? Kind of a little bit of YJ and CJ7. I noticed that you used the YJ front clip. Correct. Um, uh, mainly because I I'm the guy that doesn't like a CJ10A front clip. Well, yeah, the CJ10A <laughs> and the CJ10 is kind of ugly. It's got the hood here, it's got a nine slat grill, and then the headlights are out on the fenders, much like a big rig would have. And they're square. And they're Correct. square. So, but I'm surprised you did the YJ and not a CJ7, a just because it came with the, the no, frame? No, part of it was it, it came with, uh, I had another project that was left over, um, that the bed is actually constructed of a YJ um, tub. tub. Okay. But I had the front clip one, but it really throws people off. They because don't know what it is. they don't know what it is. Even Jeep guys can't figure out what it is. Yeah. yeah. So the bed looks awesome. Thank Whatever you. you did there, I know you were saying earlier you had to stretch the front of the bed like ten inches or something, right? Correct. It's the door opening is uh, uh, has been filled in. I think it's uh, I can't remember fifteen or so inches longer than what the the standard bed of a YJ would have been. Yeah. So what's um, the wheelbase now? About one thirteen, one twelve, something like that. One something like that. A pretty good number uh, for I, Moab wheel, and that's for sure. But around so here good. as well. This so. thing's super cool. And Thank then you. you linked the whole front end. With the rear Correct. is leaf sprung. Correct. The rear is uh, Cherokee leaf springs uh, with a, I think it's a blue torch, rear back half kit or something like that that was on the frame when I got it. How and does it drive? It drives great, actually. Really? It does. Rear's a little bit stiff for my liking, but it means that, I mean, I've had furniture in the back of this thing, believe it or not, and driven, driven around, so. Really? So, what axle gear ratios and lockers? Um, it has stock 410s, um, an e-locker, stock e-locker in the front, and an ARB in the back. Otherwise, stock axle shafts and so on. What transfer case did you say? It has a Cherokee NP231, okay. and a, a stock Cherokee rear drive shaft that's been unmodified. This thing's red. So, so what does your wife want to do with this thing? I'm going to drive it occasionally, drive it to work. That's, yeah. uh, she wants a Jeep truck or has wanted a Jeep truck for a long time and it's taken me so long to build this that I'm guessing she'll be out of it and want something different by the time that <laughs> I get it done. We need to get like a forum together for the wives of Jeep owners 
Yeah? So that Where they, they can, can all get together and complain together. about the stuff that their husbands do? Talk about the Jeep that they want. Huh. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Maybe yeah. my wife needs Maybe a so. CJ10 pickup. You're pretty stoked with the, that diesel? Actually, yes. It's not a powerhouse, but it does the job no issue whatsoever. It'll run 70 miles an hour down How the interstate. How is it compared to that 5.7 Hemi? Um, it's very different. It's very different. It's but, a tractor motor. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a... Will this one go down the highway and it not does. lug down too bad on the grades and stuff? Nope. It, uh, it, with the gearing that it has in it and the turbo and it has the proper uh, turbo injection pump, which most, most guys don't do, they kind of cobble them together with the parts they can get. Mm -hmm. um, I've done this as right as I can for making it a turbo mm -hmm. um, truck. This is and the same diesel that's in some Scouts. Correct. And it actually, the, the uh, intake exhaust manifold turbo originally was from a Scout. The turbo has been hybrid with a, uh, it's a pretty common uh, merge of a Mercedes okay. turbo um, to get a little more bottom end power out of it. Now, I understand you have some other diesel projects inside that we should go look at? I do. I have a couple of them. I, right. don't, I don't have the pickup here, but either way. Let's head inside and look at some other cool stuff that Mark's working on. That's it for Dirt Everyday Extra. We'll see you next time. This one's super awesome. I know, you want this one too, don't mm -hmm. you? If you need more Dirt Everyday Extra, go sign up right now.